the average of 20 numbers is 0. The average of 20 numbers is 0. Of them, at most, how many may be greater than 0? Right? Of them, at most, maximum, maximum, how many of these 20 numbers can be 0 is the question. Right? How, how many of these numbers can be greater than 0 is the question. Of them, at most, how many may be greater than 0? How many may be greater than 0? You getting it? At most means what? Maximum. Maximum how many may be greater than 0. See, understand from the first statement here, which says the average of 20 numbers is 0. What do you get to know? That the sum of these 20 numbers is 0. See, when can the average be 0? You know that average is equal to sum of the numbers by the number of uh, values, right? Sum of all the observations by number of observations. Now here average is equal to 0, which implies what? The sum of these 20 numbers is 0 sum is equal to 0, right? That means, uh, let's say the numbers are n1, n2, n3, and so on, up to n18, n19, right? And n20. Sum of all these 20 is equal to 0, right? The sum of all these 20 numbers is 0. Now, the question says, at most, how many of these numbers can be greater than 0, right? At most, how many may be greater than 0? So, out of these 20 numbers, maximum, how many at, at most, how many may be greater than 0, right? At most, how many may be greater than 0? Now, try it, try it out. I have at least made the question clear. Of them, at most, how many may be greater than 0? Maximum, how many may be greater than 0? All right. So, what, what, what do you understand now? See, there are 19, number, there are 20 numbers, right? 20 numbers, we have to find out how many of these numbers, maximum, how many of these numbers can be greater than 0. See, it is obvious that if the sum is 0, if the sum of these numbers is 0, sum of these numbers, see, there are two sums here, SUM and SOME. So, the total sum is 0, right? Total value, total uh, addition of these 20 numbers is 0. So, it is obvious that some of these numbers are negative, right? Some numbers have to be negative. Like, like for example, let's say the two number. I mean, we are trying to find out the average. The numbers are 4 and minus 4. What is the average? 0, because sum is 0. Or if, if there are three numbers, if there are three numbers, what can happen? One number is 4, the other number is minus 2, the third number is also minus 2. So here also the average is 0, because two numbers are negative, one is positive. Are you able to follow? Let's say we talk about some six numbers. There are six numbers where the average is 0. So what are the possibilities? The numbers can be 6. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the average? I mean, average is 0, he said, right? So, the numbers can be what? Let, let me just take some other example, right? Like, like numbers are, uh, there, there are total 6 values, right? So, the values can be like this, right? 6, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma, 0, comma, minus 6, comma, 0. So, total 6 values. Now, their sum is 0. If their sum is 0, the average is 0. Or what is the other possibility? 6, comma, minus 1, comma, minus 1, comma, minus 1, comma, minus 2, comma, minus 1. So, you see, total sum here is plus 6 and here it is minus 6. So, overall sum becomes 0, right? Or we can have numbers like 6, comma, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0 and 0. So, basically the point is for the average to be 0, when the average is 0, the sum of the numbers is 0. Now, for the sum of the numbers to be 0, a few numbers have to be negative, right? A few numbers have to be negative, right? But at least one number has to be positive, you are getting it. At least one number has to be positive. Only then, uh, I mean, at least one has to be positive, but at least one has to be negative. Both ways it would work. Now, in this question, he is asking us to find out of them at most, how many may be greater than 0? Maximum, how many may be greater than 0? So far, what we have seen, here only one is greater than 0. Here also only one is greater than 0. Here only one is greater than 0. In all these cases, we have seen maximum, I mean, in all these cases, we have seen only one is greater than 0. Only one number is greater than 0. But he is asking us to find out maximum, how many can be greater than 0. See, it is possible that, when you're taking the average of six numbers, out of these six numbers, five are positive. Like for example, six, uh, two, eight, nine, four, right? Five can be positive, right? And the sixth number will be such that it will be equal to the, it, it will be equal to negative of the sum of these numbers. So six plus two, eight, eight and eight, 16, 16 and nine, 25, 25 and four, 29. I'll say minus 29. So if you take this particular case, what do you see here? Out of six numbers, five are positive. And the sixth number is negative. I mean, one of the numbers is negative. And it is such, I mean, the negative number is such that it is the sum of all the positive numbers in terms of magnitude, right? 6 plus 2, 8, 8 and 8, 16, 16 and 9, 25, 25 plus 4, 29. So plus 29 minus 29, sum becomes 0. If sum is 0, the average is 0. So the point is, of them, maximum, how many can be uh, positive? Greater than 0 means what? How many are greater than 0 means what? How many are positive? 
we can see that see maximum out of six five can be positive all the six cannot be positive see look at it in a converse way can all the six be positive can all the six be positive no if all the six are positive some will never become zero so can all the 20 be positive can all the 20 numbers be positive no all the 20 cannot be positive because if all the 20 are positive numbers some will never be zero 19 numbers can be positive 19 of these 20 numbers can be positive and the left out number will be negative in such a way that overall sum becomes zero so maximum 19 can be positive